Today's daily rehab is about the progression of the sit to stand movement on a single leg. Now what I mean by that is, is try and get people with the ability to stand up and down on one leg. Now that's quite hard. We use that as one of our tests for ACL recovery, but we also try to get people strong enough that they can do that following knee pain, knee surgery, that sort of thing. Now the early stages of that are really good, like teaching people to get out of a chair is really good for people who have had, say, total knee replacements or have had knee surgery. Maybe they're a little bit older, a little more frail, and they need to strengthen their legs to get out of the chair. So this is a bit of a double whammy. We can use the exercise or the idea of getting people to be able to get strong enough to sit to stand on one leg, but use the early phase of it to try and build up their general strength in the legs just to help them with quality of life and get in and out of chairs, up and down the stairs, things like that. So the first exercise we're going to do is called a split stance. Now, the reason we're doing this is because when people sit in their chair, if they try and get out of a chair from this point here, they, they can't get out of a chair. Not many people can get out of their chair if they're weak like that. So they always push on the arms, push themselves up. That's great, but it doesn't teach them any leg strength. Now, if you're doing that all the time during the day, as someone who lives at home, maybe a little bit more sedentary, if you're getting in and out of chairs all the time by standing up, sitting down, sitting up, sitting down, there's a lot of opportunity to strengthen your legs at that point. But if you do it with your hands all the time, you're not gonna build the strength here. It's wasted opportunity. So we're gonna try and use that opportunity of sitting down on a sofa, sitting down on a bed, sitting down on a chair, sitting in the car, that sort of thing, to try and use it to strengthen your legs. Now, the other thing people do is if they, you know, if they go to the edge of their chair, they can't stand up like that because at this point here, if they push up on two legs, say this is my sore leg here, if they push on that, because there's so much flexion in here and they're weak, that hurts, that load hurts their knee when they try and get up. So they try and put it forward. Now you can't stand up from that point there either because your legs are too far forward. So what they tend to do is lean right forward and push off their knees like that. But again, they're not learning the leg strength, they're pushing with their hands. Now these are all functional sort of adaptations and they're great for, to get people going. But if you're clever about it, you can get people doing strengthening work in a safe and effective way that actually helps them, not just with their leg strength, but their quality of life as well. So let's imagine this is now my good leg and this is my bad leg. So what I can do with the split stance exercise is have this leg behind, because this is a good one. They can bend this, this is fine. They've got power through this leg, there's no pain with them. This one here, maybe this is the operated leg or this is the uh, sore leg from injury. This one's in front. So I'm gonna put weight through both legs, but the power is gonna come from here. And what this means is I don't have to push off here. I can just lean forward and push off with both legs, all right? Now, you'd start off with probably more weight through here. You just gotta get the foot comfortable. Don't try and do this from the back of the chair, it's not gonna work. So they shuffle to the end of the chair and then have that leg forward, not too far forward, you won't get forward enough. Have that at a comfortable position, maybe it's 90 degrees, maybe if, they're, if they can go a little bit more than 90, if they can tolerate, depends on the person, how injured that is or how much range they've got. That leg just stays there and you think about doing perhaps less than 50% on that leg. So maybe you're going sort of 70, 30. So when you push up, the weight's here, but I'm still strengthening here. Now, for one, what that's doing is I'm pushing up without too much forward lean. I'm not using my arms at all, so I'm using all my legs. So there's the first part. What you've got to do over time is get them to practice that, not just once in our chair, to actually use their chair and practice and do this as a repetition. All right, so they push up straight and down, still keeping the 70, 30 or whatever ratio you've worked out for them that gets pain-free movement here, okay, and it still allows them to get up. Once they get that 70, 30 right, the mission is can you get down to 50, 50 and then flip it around the other way where this is doing 70 and this is simply a support leg because we've got to try and get you to one leg at some point. For some people, not everybody, but for some people, we're trying to get them to one leg, especially those knee surgery ACL athletes who start off needing to do this sort of exercise and then progress onto a full single leg. So that would go 50-50. They just got to imagine there's two legs there, 50-50 and push up. So they feel like there's even weight between the two. And eventually they're really gonna try over a period of weeks 
about 70% here and push up with that leg there, okay? Now once they can sort of feel like they've almost 100% at that point, what you want to work on is moving to an eccentric type movement. Now some people do a sit to stand supported where you're going to come up like this on one leg and here's the support here so they can focus on the movement up and down. A lot of times you don't have that at home, okay? You've just got to go in and out of your chair. You're not always going to have a pole there sitting next to your chair. So for people, you want to get them doing this at home quite a lot, I'd probably work on the eccentric phase part where they don't have to use any equipment, they can just use their chair. So again, same position, they come up with the split stance. So come up like this, okay? Then what they try and do is stand on one leg and come down until they have to put their foot down. So it's almost like a half an eccentric, if you like. You push up mostly with this one, and then when you come down, lift that leg, but have it ready. Have it just right there ready. So when they come down, they might want to put it down, and then they go. As they get more confident, as they get stronger, you can go from there, lift it, go all the way down to there, okay? Make sure they're not sort of just getting there and dropping down and crashing down, okay? They need to learn that control. That's why that foot's there. Some people even go almost like a, just a touch, almost just enough to keep them aware that it's there so they can really focus on the strength there. If there's nothing there, they get a bit nervous, okay? So they can just focus on this part, just a touch until they get to the bottom there, all right? Once you've got that through that phase, you probably find you build up quite a lot of strength. And of course, you're gonna be doing other exercises with the strength tool, but this one is the real functional one for people at home or people that are perhaps a little bit less um, mobile, a bit more sedentary, they can do this exercise and repeat it in the comfort of their home and, and the security of their sofa or their chair, okay? So this one's a really good one to add into your program around the exercise because it happens all day, all the time, and they just get used to it and it just helps their quality of life. Now, for those people who are like return to sport athletes or ACL reconstruction people, knee, any sort of knee surgery that are younger who need single leg work because they're running or they're playing sport, then we try and get them to move to a single leg sit to stand. So once they've got that eccentric part and they've got enough strength, then they're trying to work on single leg sit to stands, trying to focus on the control phase there. Now to help them with their balance, you have it forward like a pistol squat. So instead of behind, you go for forward and they push up and down. Now what you want to aim for is making sure with this sort of thing, focus you there, is they've got to make sure that knee doesn't dive inwards, okay? There will be a little bit of wobble until they get their strength right, but you've just got to make sure that they're not sort of going from here and, and doing that, okay? You can't afford to have that sort of shear load through the knee. That's not a good sit to stand. So a little bit of wobble is okay at the start. So if they start wobbling like this, and you see a little wobble, you want to see that improve. So if you see on my left leg, like that, that's how you want to be doing the strengthening work like that, and trying to keep that knee beautifully in line as they go, smooth up, smooth down. Now, an ACL retesting or testing for return to sport, we want to see 22 of those in one go with good form. So that's the sort of task we need to get people up to, and um, it takes a lot, but it's worth every shot. See you go with that. See you next time.